Okay, I told you we were going to paint him, and I've already started without you here for a minute. Of course, this is not anything new to you. Uh, I started with the boots with a little black is what I did, see? Now, I think for the uh, coveralls, I'm going to use a burnt umber. It's more of a, a dark. I'm going to use that for the, the hat and the... Uh, but that burnt umber is like black. It's awful, awful strong, so you want to kind of... Uh, you want to sort of wet it a little bit. You want to thin it out. I'm trying to use the word thin. <laughs> I'm getting tongue tied here. I'm going to use a little burnt umber to make his um, his coveralls back here. As you see, I'm I'm using my uh, uh, using my water, thinning it out. Like I said, the, the reason you want to thin it out, like I've said before, is that you can always add color if you want to make it darker, but if you make it too dark, it's hard to take it away. Because whenever you, uh, you know, the, 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 the wood soaks up the, the paint, and it's hard to lighten it up. It really is. I, I, I'll tell you, it, it, it's very, very hard to lighten it up. So it's better to go on with a light, you know, use a little water, go on with a lighter uh, stain or paint. Then if you want to darken it, you just keep putting a, cu a couple more coats on it. Because once you get it too dark, then it's awful hard to take away that effect. So that's why, like I said, that's why I've always used uh, uh, water to lighten my uh, lighten what I do because it, it helps so much in uh, me determining exactly what shade I want. And plus, the uh, the antiquing solution darkens it also, so that helps. See, here we go with. We're getting it uh, even darker now. Yeah, the antiquing solution itself is going to darken it uh, some as well. So we want to, you know, we don't want to lay it on too thick. Like I said, if for some reason that it's not dark enough, it's very simple. I just go back and I, I darken a little bit more. And that's much easier, like I said, than trying to go back and, and lighten it. In fact, one, just like kind of like stain, you really can't hardly go back and lighten something too well. That's awful, awful hard to do. I wish that uh, a lot of, a lot of you fellas, I know uh, a lot of carvers, they have their wives do their painting for them, and their wives just love it. Uh, I'm not that blessed. Uh, <laughs> I'm not uh, to have a wife that uh, likes to paint. Uh, so uh, I wish I did because I, I tell you what, it, uh, it it is nice. I don't like... I really don't care for the painting as much as I do the carving, but I know it's a process. I know it's part of it, whether I, I care for it or not. But uh, uh, it is the finishing product of it. Now, a lot of people, they, they're a natural-born artist, and they like the, the painting process as much as they do the carving. And, uh, uh, but I'm not a natural-born artist. I'm not a natural-born anything, I don't think. But... Uh, I would like to have someone painting my stuff for me, but unfortunately that isn't the case. So we're not going to say any more than that. But I have seen, uh, there, I, there's a lot of husband and wife teams on the internet, 
that uh, he carves and she paints. And I'll tell you what, I think women are probably a lot better painters than men. Now, what I'm saying, I hope it doesn't. But most of the time, women seem to have a little bit more uh, tedious uh, professionalism to painting than do a lot of men, or at least myself, for sure. And uh, But I know there's some uh, wonderful men painters, too. Uh, we have some on the board that are just fantastic painters, I'll tell you what. They're just brilliant at what they do. In fact, I mean, I don't think they could, they could carve anything bad as good as the way they paint, I'll tell you what, because their painting is just uh, amazing. Okay. And you know, you can always leave things natural, but I still like the painting, I really do. All right, there's the coveralls. Now, I'm going to use a red oxide for the shirt. I really like this this red oxide. It's, it's not just a red. It's sort of a uh, um, it's not like a it's sort of a barn red, but it's not a strong strong red. And I sure like it. I like using it. It's uh, it's called red oxide, and you can get it at Hobby Lobby. Because I mean, you go you go to get paints, and I'll tell you, they got forty thousand different kinds of reds, and twenty thousand different kinds of blues, and all this other stuff. And fella sure can get confused on all this stuff. But I just happened to find this uh, red oxide, and I don't.